Wait. Are we on? Huh? No, it's not. No, it's I'm not. I'm ruining that one. Sorry, guys. Welcome back to Standby for Awesome. Mm -hmm. It's time to Dex Flicks with. No, nope, that's also wrong. Stop. But we're going to do a lot of cool things today. The people want an economy talk with Teo, so we're no, going to start with that. Definitely not. We're going to start with the biggest news in all of the universe. Have you guys heard about Brad and Angie? <laughs> no. Where were you? When you found out Brad and Angie I was going to work in a car Driving down the road Sad news guys Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie Wait, he's actually crying Are filing for divorce How are you doing this? He's oh really Oh my gosh, he's really crying Are you okay? Are you okay, buddy? That is the saddest news It's really sad What are you thinking about a cry like that? I don't know, man like, Guys, I really thought they were going to make it Where's your motivation coming if from? If Brad and Angie can't make it, none of us have oh, a prayer I, so, I'm okay Here's the thing, the truth is, it's it's a fact it's a, it's a real thing And unfortunately, people are finding out in weird ways Yeah Did you guys see the cover of the New York Post Where it had Brad, Brad Julian in And it had like their the years that they were together and then it just had a picture of Jennifer Aniston cracking up. No, it did. It yeah. was like the post or the daily did it one. Really? Of, yes, and that was their cover. Hang on. I'm telling you, man, it's taken over international news. Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, it, whereas as it is true that they uh, actually are getting a divorce, Angelina Jolie filed for divorce. Uh, there were reports coming out about child neglect, abuse, stuff like that with Brad Pitt, which have already been unconfirmed and confirmed false, I should say. That's stupid. Yeah, dude, what happens? Well, some, yeah, they're still human beings. And if George Clooney was in any, any indication, mm -hmm. gosh, I can't talk right now. I know, now. it's that coffee. It is. <laughs> if uh, that was any indication, um, he was just as sad because they're both friends of his. So let, me, let me ask this. Sad thing. day. Let me ask. Is Jennifer Aniston happy? Definitely. Definitely. Well, that's good. That's pretty Definitely happy. Guys, it's been like 20 years. Yeah. Right? How many a, years has it been? It's been a good while. It's been a good minute. It's been, yeah. I think, high school uh, was when. when did, yeah. No, it was Mr. and Mrs. Smith when uh -huh. it all went down. That's yeah. true. So that was like early 2000s. That right? was early 2000s. Because our boy Seth. Seth, yep. Seth was Adam in it. Brody. Adam Brody. Love you. Love you, dog. Yeah. 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 Stay was, true. Love you, dog. Yeah. Unfortunately, okay. no longer. I, yeah. So the spot of America's sweetheart couple has been vacated. Dude. And we decided we're going to decide who's going to fill that spot. I love this. Today we're going to pick America's next top sweethearts mm. couple. Mm. I right. got it. I got it. Okay. Miley Cyrus and L Liam Hemsworth. No. Hemsworth. What? Hemsworth. No. Oh. First, okay. Now I could work. Give, give me your point. Reasoning why. All right. Miley Cyrus is one of the biggest music acts of our time in the right world now. she's from the usa yeah, okay. she's on the voice right now and i'm not a band. party in the usa and liam hemsworth is Classic. one of the hottest guys out there he's and got again, a hot he body. takes a back seat to his brother chris so well, no no, no he them, was he know, was in a movie no. called independence day resurgence i also starred in that film you, 0.8 seconds so he is seconds. not even that much it was like <laughs> two hours and 45 minutes no yeah. i meant your your part that's how much my part was. <laughs> Okay, so, so he, obviously no. He can, no. no, he can do it because nah, he's an American hero. He's, he's saved us. Hemsworth, much less, you know, being America's sweetheart. What do you think? Let's be what, honest. What do you okay. think? Okay. I, I think it's fine. Miley and Liam. I okay. don't see why not. Okay, no. Okay. Here's my pick. Our boy Ryan and Blake Lively. Are Ooh. you kidding me? Ooh. Ryan Reynolds is on top of the world. Deadpool, every other film he's been in. All of them. Criminal. Did you guys see Criminal? That movie was mm -hmm. awesome. Oh, so I heard good. It was real dumb. Huge fan of Ryan Reynolds. In fact, I follow him on the Twitterverse. He's amazing. He responds to fans. He's really cool. He's lovable. Name one person in humanity who doesn't like Ryan Reynolds. Uh, Dex doesn't like him. If you had said Alanis Morissette, I would have given you that because I they, love they Ryan did Reynolds. date at one time and then that didn't work Alanis out. Alanis Morissette, but she's from Canada, so it doesn't count. Exactly. America's sweetheart. Who doesn't love Blake Lively? I mean, Dale? Yes. Your couple. Okay, I've been thinking long and hard about this, and mm -hmm. I think I've come to a decision. Okay. Oprah Winfrey and Morgan Freeman. Get them together. <laughs> he is the voice of God. I think Morgan in many Freeman's movies. married. Yeah, he's totally married. And Oprah Winfrey no, gives so many things away. 
Now it's time to give away her heart. <laughs> no, dude. Did you know per se she'd never get married? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Um, what about Stetson? That was Isn't that his name? Out? The dude he invented the cowboy hat. That was hat. before all of this. Look it up. Uh, Oprah, you mm. get a spot as America's sweetheart. And you get a spot. And you get a spot. Exactly. And you. A lot of information has been thrown out. Yeah, lots, lots. Accusations are flying. So here's the deal. Who is America's next sweetheart couple? We want to know your thoughts. You can comment in the section below if you're watching on YouTube. If not, get to our YouTube, dummy. YouTube.com slash standby for awesome. Let us know who's going to take over for Brad and Angie. Because right now, there's a void in my heart. What did the tomato say to the bun? What? Let us know. Thank you.